Hey YouTube, I uh, thought I'd make a little bit of a video today about um, new gas cans and how you can make them just like the old style of gas can. So um, first I guess we'll start with what is the older style. So um, pre-2009 gas cans pretty much came like this. This is a great example of a pre-2009 gas can. It's a Blitz brand 2 gallon and Anyway, you open it up, and it's pretty simple and straightforward. I mean, the gas would be in there. Got a little funnel spout and a cap. Um, and so, anyway, that's what uh, was used for um, years and years and years. And then the California Air Resource Board, along with the EPA, um, turned gas cans into something rather ridiculous. Um, anyway, I made this just like the old gas can, and I'll uh, give a brief explanation on how I did that. First of all, when you first buy this, you can see there's like this triangular profile here. Um, there used to be a, a notch there that would um, kind of act like a ratchet against a, uh, a gear-like thing on the cap. What I did was I cut the the gear thing off the cap, so it's no longer there, and I filed down this um, triangular profile, so now it doesn't even come close to interfering with the operation of the lid. It just opens real easy, just as a normal gas can should. Um, anyway, then comes out this, which I'll get to that in a moment, but was in here. Instead of it just being open how it is now, it had this. Uh, stuffed down inside the um, uh, opening here. And I honestly have no idea what this does, but it makes it really hard to tell what level of gas is in the uh, uh, tank. So uh, I just got a pair of vice grips and I twisted it out. I, it was a mixture of, you know, pulling up on it and, and uh, twisting it. And as you can see, it mangles it, but I mean, since you're not going to use it, who cares? So anyway, coming back to um, this piece, this used to be a pain. You'd have to press down really hard on this, and then you'd have to push against a really heavy spring in order to get it to open, and it opens like that. Um, to fix that, what you do is, um, let's see if I can do this with my fingers, you take off this uh, O-ring right there, and once that's off, this whole mechanism just slides right out. And so the spring was attached to that little point there where my index finger is. And what I did was I just simply took it out. Here's what it looks like. And, you know, once that's out, then there's also this little catch that was on the end of this. But I actually... Um, got rid of that as well. I just snipped it off and it makes it so much easier to operate this lever to open and uh, close the um, mechanism. Uh, anyway, let's see if I can get this back together real quick so I can demonstrate how it works now. Just give me one moment. Okay. Okay, so it's pretty much back together. I just need to get the little O-ring back on here. Okay, so the O-ring's on. So this is how it now works. So let's say you want to use the easy pour function. Well, what you do is you put on the uh, screw piece here and you just, you know, screw it on. Try and get it reasonably tight. And I like getting it lined up. And when you're storing it, you'll just store it like this. It's got a little cap on it, and this part will be up. And then when you want to pour gas, it's easy, just like that gas can. What you do is you just remove the cap, and then you press in, and it stays. You don't have to fight spring tension or that stupid latch. It's just open, and it'll pour gas really easily. So... 
Um, anyway, I hope that you found this helpful. Um, feel free to uh, give it a like, share, and subscribe. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye for now.